Hi Libra, how are you this month of May? So I'm doing the videos a little earlier this uh, for this coming up month because of the energies out there right now are a little um, heavy and dense, a, little un a lot of uncertainty. So I'm gonna pull a um, energy oracle card by Sandra Ann Taylor that's gonna give us like the um, overall energy for you for the month of May, okay? And then we'll go and continue on with the rest of the reading. So let's see what this energy for you for the month of May overall will be for Libra. Hmm. Broken heart. Broken heart. So Libra, it just feels like there's a lot of healing that is going to happen this month for you. That the broken heart is really about what was. That um, you've had a broken heart, you've been let down, that there's been a lot of um, energy in your past that's been surrounded with pain and loss and hurt. So the month of May is going to be all about for you kind of the healing, the healing, the putting yourself back together, the um, bright spot. May is going to be a bright spot, is what I'm hearing. So let's see what the what the an archangels have to say. For Libra, month of May. Okay, Libra. I have not had to shuffle this much for other. Interesting. Epiphany, Archangel Raziel, joy through spiritual growth, be a light to others, answers that come through meditation. You know, I think that this is going to be a very meditative month for you, Libra. I think that there are um, a lot of things that you're letting go of and you're healing from, and the way to do that is through meditation um, and gaining your strength through finding joy in life. So it is going to be a very transformative, transformative month for you this month of May. Um, the Knight of Ariel is going to be here with you. Trustworthy, understanding, devoted, funny. There's, there is so much to accomplish. Make a very detailed plan being, being watched over by someone kind. Yes, I feel like it is. It is time to move forward. That the hurt and the pain is the past that we're healing. That we're going to be, be joyful. Um, we're going to find joy this month of May. That's really going to heal us heal us because we've got a lot to do. We've got a lot to do this month. Eight of Gabriel, a great deal of activity, sudden and immediate results, important communication. So whoever broke your heart, um, whatever situation, whatever person really let you down and hurt you, I do feel like you are going to have important communication. It might not be with them. It might be with someone who brings you clarity to the situation. It might be with someone who's around them or knows of them and can give you some insight or um, some really nice advice because they know them. It, it helps you understand that they do recognize the situation that you were in. So this is a beautiful card of really moving forward in a way that is going to bring you that healing okay oh and then we got two more cards okay so then we have the ten of michael a situation has ended and you're finally free new opportunities for happiness will now follow put the past behind you i'm so happy to see this card because you are ready to lift up your head and look at the world and just have a good time you are, you're taking your bow because you are leaving that in the past and it is time for the new beginning, the new situations, the new people. So King of Michael is here. Principled, rational, ambitious, respected. Wisdom and objectivity are important now. Stay in your integrity. A situation that calls for honest and open communication. You know, this really makes me think that you are going to have a conversation with someone 
or that person, but really more someone that's around that person or knows the situation in which you're really going to be able to hear what they say now. You're ready for the healing. You're ready to let go. And because you're ready, you're in this new space, you're going to be able to hear what it is they've been saying and you're ready to take it in and utilize it for your healing. So Honestly, Libra, this month is going to be such a healing month for you with new beginnings and your heart really being able to be opened again for new people, new situations, new... It's like a breath of fresh air, newness. It's like spring is heralding in your ability to open your heart again, to love and have joy and hear what people have to say in a way that is helpful and beneficial to you. And the messages from the guides are follow the golden rule. Yep, there it is. Follow the golden rule. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. So no more bad mouthing them or that situation. Like not even talking about it anymore. Like you're just done. You're just ready for that new beginning, that new opportunity, that new person. You're ready. And so we're not going to let that negativity impact us in any way. All right. And the crystal card to complement this is Amatrine, balancing masculine and feminine energies, allowing your feminine side to creatively inspire you and your masculine side to give you confidence. Yes, it is time to take back your power. It is time to step in your confidence. I am, I am here. Notice me. But in a very loving way, we want to do that. Okay. All right. You know, because because you're ready to move forward, because you're ready to let go of that past situation or that old relationship, that is really going to herald in the new beginning, the new situation, the new people. And you don't want to have any of that negativity in your heart. You don't want to have any of that old criticism or judgment or fear or any of those lower vibrations affecting you anymore. You are ready to... You've cried your last tear. You're ready to get out there and be happy and have faith. Have Stay in the faith that everything is working out for your highest and greatest good. Stay in the faith that, you know, that situation or that person is going to go down their journey, down their path, and wherever that leads, it has nothing to do with you anymore. It is time for you to stay in your faith, in your path, doing what it is that's going to serve you and bring you to your highest and greatest good, which is ultimately going to bring you that happiness that has been eluding you for so long because you really have been in this energy of broken heart and it is time to get out of it. It's time to move on. It is time to take your final bow on that and bring in, herald in the new beginning that you have Archangel Michael here uh, is helping you stay in your integrity and communicating in a way that is only beneficial to all who are around you. I'm excited that you are ready to move forward, that that old situation, that old relationship can no longer affect you. That hurt is out of here and it is time to love again and to have joy. So if you need help with that, the Epiphany card is telling you to get into meditation, um, get clear, get centered, and then do the things to bring you joy, heal that heart, and meet that new person and have that new situation and be happy. And May is gonna herald so many blessings. It's exciting. All right, Libra, have a beautiful month and we will talk to you soon. Sending you so much love and so many blessings. Bye.